I would like to be a movie producer and director at some point in my life. My biggest inspiration has always been Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings. You know, if I made a movie about my life, I I'd eventually want to get married. So I would probably feature her in the film, you know. My grandfather was a veteran, fought in Korea. I joined the military through the National Guard at 17. A few short years later, 9-11 happened. So I went active duty. And he said 3rd Infantry Division is getting ready for the whole division to deploy to Kuwait for possible war with Iraq. Okay, send me there. We were on the Air Force Academy and we started to realize that uh, there were some issues with being able to focus. Nathan had a fascination with fans, uh, some hand flapping and that type of thing, which are characteristics of, uh, I believe, the autistic spectrum disorder. Nathan was very frustrated with me and I was frustrated with Nathan. When I get hurt or frustrated, I tend to react violently. I'd scream and get these, sh you know, emotional shakes, I think. It could turn into conflicts with my wife as well. So in going through my 60 plus years of life, those were the worst times. I fell in love with the military. I had a grand total of three combat deployments and one security deployment. My job was to help track the enemy movement during the invasion of Iraq in 2003. After that, we were tasked with route clearance. Traveled over two to 3,000 miles in Baghdad, just finding bombs. Got blown up a lot. Rockets fired at us, mortars. I brought everyone home from this deployment, but I didn't keep everyone together. I had a soldier who had some issues with family and things like that. He ended up uh, taking his own life. And I blame myself because being his leader, I should have been able to spot it. After that, I needed to do something else. So I went and I became a drill sergeant. During that time, ISIS started to raise its ugly head. I got hand selected to teach engineer tactics and IED defeat tactics to the Iraqis. While I was up there for the 60 days, I somehow contracted a type one diabetes. I lost 40 pounds, my blood sugar nearly put me in a coma. That turned my whole entire world upside down. There are days I wake up to go put on my uniform and realize that I don't have a uniform to put on anymore. I had a plan. And in six months, I had to come up with something for the rest of my life. We didn't know where we would go next. And uh, Chris O'Dell, who was on the board of Goodwill, mentioned the Pursuits program. I knew this was exactly what Nathan needed. The best part of Pursuits for me was getting to know the other students. For learners like myself who are really hands-on, it was great. As an outcome of Pursuits, Nathan was offered uh, the first employment opportunity. The first job I had was a janitor. The things that hindered me were being able to get things done in a timely basis. We'd seen this before with, uh, you know, hopes dashed. So we were absolutely thrilled when Goodwill gave him another chance and that was to come to the Fresh Start Laundry. Goodwill is great in hiring the right kind of people to work with individuals to overcome these barriers and to offer them the support they need to hold a job. The transition going from military civilian is very hard. The veterans we've seen have been fairly successful in getting jobs, but then keeping that job becomes a difficulty. We were trained for one thing, and now we're being asked to do something totally different. The gamification program was put into place to assist those individuals that were working at a lower productivity than what was required. Nowhere else would you ever find that from an employer. It would have been, I'm sorry, we're going to have to terminate you. This program taught them to want to come to work, want to do well, and they know that what I did today made a difference. Dad, I, uh, I just wanted to tell you something else. I got uh, Employee of the Week again. All right. <laughs> Good man. Congrats. Thank you.
We put together a job description and said, we really need veterans who can help veterans. Adam has seen some kind of hard times. As he was transitioning out of the military, he was helping other military uh, folks transition themselves. So it seemed like the perfect match. I left the Army on December 28th, and I walked into Discover Goodwill December 29th. You never leave a man behind. And I feel some of these people have been left behind by society. It's my job to pick them up and bring them home. I'm working and learning independent skills and learning to be at places on time. Well, the fact that Nathan is now Employee of the Week twice, obviously as a father, I'm uh, kind of busting my buttons here. Being a Veterans Employment Retention Specialist is more than just, okay, I go find him a job. It reminds me of what I did in the Army as a squad leader and platoon sergeant. I was involved with all of my guys. We are probably at the best place we've ever been in Nathan's life. Without Goodwill, I would have been in real trouble. If Goodwill hadn't called me and said, we selected you for the job, I had no idea where I'd be. I was on a destructive path, and it gave me a new mission, helping veterans, giving back to the community. Those of you who have given to Goodwill or are considering giving to Goodwill, uh, I can just speak uh, as the head of one family, and all we can say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.